Searching for pet food can be quite intimidating, especially when there are hundreds of brands to choose from, and it may feel like every brand is telling you that their food is the best. But when purchasing kibble, there are vital factors to consider to ensure the highest quality purchase. So here's what to look for in high quality kibble. Pet food labels are loaded with information to provide insight on the quality of the food, but they also can be a bit tricky to understand at first. The most important section will be the ingredients list to reveal what exactly is in the food. So get in the habit of flipping the bag over in the store and scanning the ingredients before purchasing. Now, unfortunately, there's no way to entirely avoid carbohydrates as this ingredient binds kibble together, but avoiding the most low-quality and allergenic carbohydrates such as soy, wheat, rice, and corn are easy ways to purchase a better food. Animal byproducts are the remainder of a slaughtered animal after removing all the parts intended for human consumption. Animal byproducts are considered inedible for humans, but can still be used in pet food. These parts include heads, feet, back, liver, kidney, brain, etc. All parts commonly used in a raw diet. But animal byproducts tend to be highly controversial since there are benefits since they include organs. But the problem with the kibble industry is quality. The way animal byproducts are handled tends to be improper and very unsanitary. Byproducts used in pet foods are not refrigerated and tend to be stored for hours on a hot trailer. And even if the meat has spoiled, it's deemed acceptable for the pet food industry. Furthermore, 40 animals which mean dead, dying, disease, and down, dead farm animals and dead zoo animals can be rendered into meal ingredients. Natural flavoring is defined as super simple, super easy digestible definition, right? At first glance, this ingredient might seem welcoming, even wholesome due to the word natural, but it can be quite misleading and as you can see, even more hectic when you read the actual FDA definition. Okay, but like, side note, why is Rich Roy even making pet food? Like, isn't she a chef? Stay in your mediocre cooking lane, please. Back to our regularly scattered program, reading the official definition, it can be quite difficult to conclude what natural flavors are truly made of as it covers such a broad range of food. Do you actually know what natural flavors are? Good, good question. Just, just give me a second. Sarah, hey! Google what natural flavors are! Natural flavors must come from a plant or animal versus an artificial flavor coming from a synthetic derivative. Every flavor contains chemicals, natural or artificial. Actually, all substances in the universe are created by chemicals, even water. But the Flavor and Extract Manufacturer Association, FEMA, a group that's supposed to evaluate the safety of flavor additives in the United States for humans, have been condemned by nutrition experts and public interest group for not disclosing safety information on the natural flavors. And taking a look at what is covered under the name quote unquote natural flavors in the FEMA database, it can be shown just how many ingredients can be swept under one name. Literally, all we want to know is, is it safe? Is, are we gonna die if we eat this? We think? Maybe. But we're also not gonna give you the evidence, so. Have fun. <laughs> the most common artificial antioxidants include BHA, BHT, and ethoxyquin. Chemical preservatives are used to slow the oxidation and rancidity of fats, but these preservatives can have unwanted health effects. Ethoxyquin originally was registered as a pesticide in 1965, and the United States Environmental Agency discovered the primary target organs affected by ethoxyquin in experimental animals are the liver and the kidneys. Dogs are more susceptible to ethoxyquin toxicity than rats with elevated liver enzymes and microscopic findings in the liver. Ethoxyquin is not often found on the label as it's added often to fish meals and then added in the finished product, thus the kibble manufacturer only needing to write fish meal versus fish meal with added ethoxyquin. BHA and BHT The National Toxicology Program warns that BHA is reasonably anticipated to be a human carcinogen based on sufficient evidence from studies in experimental animals. Dietary exposure caused benign and malignant tumors to form on rats and hamsters. Other studies have shown BHT to cause lung damage and offer further evidence on the carcinogenic effects of BHA. California also included BHA in the chemicals known to cause cancer or reproductive toxicity report. The European Union classified BHA and BHT as dirty food additives. With pets eating the same food every day for their whole lifetime, the exposure to chemical additives will only mass accumulate over time. 
While synthetics have their place, replacing all essential nutrients with synthetics should be avoided, and when they are used, the most bioavailable version should be used. For example, zinc picolinate is the most bioavailable form, following is zinc chelate. But zinc oxide has a significantly lower bioavailability level, around 49.9%, but is most frequently used in pet foods. Thankfully, several brands out there on the market have minimally used synthetic supplements or will use the most bioavailable form if they are of higher quality. With a dry food diet, it is imperative to rotate the protein and brand of kibble to ensure an array of nutrient profiles in formulations, plus add in moisture and kibble boosters. While feeding a fresh food diet is always optimal, these key factors can provide the highest quality of dry food possible. And next time, we'll discover some of the top quality kibble brands out there. But for now, you learned about checking the label, making a habit to scan the ingredients before purchasing, low quality carbs, avoiding the lowest quality, animal byproducts, what they are and why to avoid, natural flavoring, the misleading name behind them, artificial antioxidants, BHA, BHT, and ethoxyquin, and finally, synthetics, vitamins, and minerals. As always, I hope you learned something new today and always keep exploring.